on this Wednesday, second week of Lent, we have a gospel passage that at one time tells of the divinity of Jesus Christ and also the humanity of his disciples. Of course, Jesus was fully human and fully man. When his feet walked the fields of Israel, his feet would get muddy. His legs would get tired. He'd have to eat. He'd have to wash. And if I can say it, he'd have to go to the toilet the same as any other person. So he was fully human, but also fully divine. And in today's gospel, we see that Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem. We're looking at Matthew chapter 20, verse 17 to 28. Matthew chapter 20, 17 to 28. And Jesus is making his way to Jerusalem with the 12 disciples. But the mother of the sons of Zebedee, James and John, approaches Jesus and very respectfully bows down, very religiously bows down before the Lord. And Jesus says to her, what is it that you want? She said to him, promise that these two sons of mine may one sit at your right hand and the other at your left in your kingdom. No, Jesus says, you have no idea what you are talking about. And here we have this impression of this expectation of Jesus establishing an earthly kingdom right there and now that will overthrow the Romans. Well, of course, the kingdom of God is within us and there's a coming kingdom that will establish rule over the earth and Jesus, the Lord Jesus, the Messiah, he will rule over all the earth. But that's in the future. Here they have a completely carnal, human understanding of what the kingdom is and what it means to be promoted to a place of honour in the kingdom. But it gets worse because when the disciples hear about James and John's mother begging for position and honour and privilege for her sons, the other disciples become indignant and they argue. This is not to happen among you, says Jesus. No, anyone who wants to be great among you must be your servant and anyone who wants to be first among you must be your slave as the son of man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many we hear a lot about servant leadership but we're talking about servanthood as an attitude of heart as a desire, again, a compassion, a transparency in our lives to allow for no privilege in our life except the privilege the Lord might bestow on us. To be a servant of all means to forego the glory and the glitter and the praise that this world wants to offer to those who follow it in the world's path. We are to seek the kingdom above, and he who should be greatest among us must become servant of all in loving devotion to Jesus Christ. Amen.